Hey guys, welcome to today's deep dive into Rachel Skinner. A real look at what having a big mouth can lead to on social media. Um, we're going to break down a lot of things when it comes to her worrying behaviour. Let's have a look at the things we're going to cover. And of course, first of all, we'll be covering who is Rachel Skinner. Also her disabilism and ableism comments. Obviously we know disabilism is a discrimination or prejudice against disabled people. And ableism is a discrimination in favour of non-disabled people. Now, the difference between disabilism and ableism is both terms describe disability, discrimination, uh, but the emphasis is different. We're also going to cover all the inappropriate comments, including inappropriate comments and interactions with minors, and of course, just out and out racism that pours out of her mouth. So with that summarised, guys, let's jump straight into it. Of course, who is Rachel Skinner? Well, first she turned up on TikTok under profiles like this, where she was doing various sort of entertainment content like singing. If we look even further back, she's obviously always had a passion for singing. Uh, back in 2017 here, saying that she was a fantastic singer and that she was volunteering to sing at a family fun day. Which is crazy when you think, because she'd be the last person you'd want speaking at a family fun day nowadays. Now, as you see, Rachel has gone by various different names on social media over the years, all around Rachel Skinner and what appears to be her middle name. But when it comes to somebody like uh, Rachel, it makes me want to change my t-shirt. One second. That's better. I can get on with this deep dive now. As well as mocking people's disabilities on a public forum and so blatantly, she also pretends to have some. I assume for sympathy. Let's check this clip out. Technically a bit blind. Oh, shut up. Give over, mate. Oh. Oh. No. I never said I was blind. She's about to fuck around and find out. Because at the end of the day, when you lie on social media, um, you can't get away with twisting the narrative when you've already said something. Just don't even... Don't even... Do you see what they're trying to do, Beth? Like, trying to make out I've said this mad shit that I haven't even fucking... Are you... And here she is saying it. Blind. I actually am partially blind. I'm supposed to wear my glasses. Honestly, Rachel is the actual definition of a victim complex... Being called out on things that you have said isn't somebody being horrible and twisting things. People are just saying, hey, you've lied about something. Why? Own up to it. It's horrible. It's wrong to do so. Many people suffer from this condition. When I started doing this, I didn't actually know how many times that she had self-diagnosed herself or claimed she had a condition. Um, I mean, here's another one. Endorola, and is that endometriosis? Oh my god, I might actually have that. I've got to go and have some scans and shit. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. There is literally just clip after clip of shit like this. And it's really annoying. It's literally got worse the last, like, year. Everywhere I go, I just fall asleep. I go to the cinema, I fall asleep. Yeah. I go for a meal, I fall asleep. When I, even when I go to watch the football in actual real life, I like I have to force my eyes open. 
because I feel like I need to go to sleep. My whole body is just like, there's something wrong. I just, everywhere I go, I just want to sleep. It's not normal. I swear it's not normal. I swear to God, listening to this fucker, like, <laughs> I want to knock myself out or go to sleep. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, honestly, fucking hell. <laughs> like, it's normal to be tired, but no, it's not normal to fall asleep everywhere I go. I go shopping in the city and I fall asleep. I wish you were asleep now instead of talking. Sleep. You would think that somebody who creates so many illnesses that they apparently have about themselves would not be mocking people with disabilities. It's insane. She would want all the sympathy when it's her. When I got my lashes done the other day, fell asleep. <laughs> That's funny. My body, it's like my body is just like shutting down on me all the time. I think your brain shut down a while ago. But... I thought she was going to fall asleep. Because I want to have a blood test because I'm literally a pussy. It's not fucking depression. It's called having low iron. Dr. Rachel on the case. Yeah, so it's absolutely crazy to me that Rachel Skinner went from this to saying that she had pretty much every disability under the sun, then began mocking other people's disabilities. I feel like this is a bit of a clip show over here, but it really is the best way to highlight this person's vile, unacceptable and toxic behaviour. The whole thing about me mocking disabilities has come from me saying to this boy Darren you can fuck up the phone what are you on about? because you're racist go back fucking to the field here well yeah I might be overweight but I'm not fucking disabled yeah, but it's only because she's got a disability Rachel no if she didn't have that disability people now of course those comments were clearly mocking people's disability and of course Rachel will always say oh it wasn't that it wasn't that reason or try and change the script but there's no change in the script when it comes to the next section which is just a handful mind you of the inappropriate comments she makes including to a 16 year old boy for those of you who don't know how TikTok live works when you press a random button while live streaming, it will match you up with another person who is streaming at the same time. Almost like a video call with a stranger in front of people. Now Rachel's about to do this and I'm going to add in this to censor the person that she ends up randomly talking to. Yes, yes Rachel. Hello, how are you baby? Starting straight away with a how are you, baby? Uh, I am good. How are you, good? She just asked this person straight away, immediately, how big is your wood? Talking about genitals. Now, this is honestly just why. And I'm telling you now, guys, if you could see the person in full, there's no way you would mistake this person for being older than they are. Let's get a small boy. Silly sausages. There you go. Immediately awkward. Immediately awkward. <laughs> How are you? Uh, it's a bit late for that, isn't it? You'd think you'd ask that first, at least. I'm good, I'm good. How old are you? Now she asks how old this person is after already making inappropriate comments. 61 backwards. And we all know what that is, don't we? 16. She then gets the hell out of there. But it's too late. You've already made that ridiculously inappropriate comment. And I'm telling you now, guys, looking at this lad, you would know that he was not her age.
Now let's listen to what she says after she kicks him out. Okay, I think he's too young to be on here. He's not though, is he? TikTok is a 13 plus app, which is why your behaviour is highly inappropriate because any child could end up in your live in the way he was or in your comment section. For this clip, I'm going to need you to count to five with me. One, two, three, four, five. Are we all calm. Take a deep breath. In out and prepare for the potentially worst one second you'll ever hear in your life it's not like i'm stood your finger in myself it's not like i'm stood your finger in myself oh my god it's on repeat thank god it stopped yeah so appropriate behavior according to rachel skinner i'm never going to be able to eat fish fingers again This is potentially one of the creepiest things I've ever seen. Um, yeah. Talk now, Carney. Hi, Pulley. Hello, Rachel, baby. I, would, lo I would lock you in my house too, not going to lie. <laughs> in a, in a non-weird... <laughs> you can't say in a non-weird way. Look at Dave. He, he feels it. <laughs> Yep. And of course, it's just more inappropriate and very direct comments like this on TikTok Lives. Massive wood, in it? Yeah, massive, bro. You can tell. Honestly, you can't be this confident without one. Everyone type your screens. Come on, kids, let's go. It's time to smash another battle in. Yeah, you can smash me any day. Any what, day. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, God, I'll keep this here. Said. Every hole's a gone. Oh, so fucking hell. <laughs> Some of them are penalties, but we don't mind them. Well, at least uh, Rachel seems to think that she has a solution for all the shit that she does on TikTok, and it is. Oh, do you know what? I think I just need good seeing to, I think. By the police. No. <laughs> I need a woman and I just need a good bang. What dragon? Do you need a woman? What? Is that what you say? Do you need a woman? Yeah, and have a bang. No, I'm not one of them. I need sorting out. Oh, one of them? What do you mean, a lesbian? <laughs> no, I'm not one of them. Hi, it don't matter if you are. Well... Doesn't surprise me that she's hanging around with other intolerant people, especially when we move on to the next bit, um, which is all about Rachel's absolutely horrific racist comments and comments about religion. Absolutely fucking disgusting. And now the boring bit. As you know, guys, sharing, liking and commenting really does help push out videos and help with awareness and here we go immediately into her making those vile comments that are either racist or against other people's beliefs. Um, we'll start with this one. On the street, you get straight up followed for that. Thank you, sir. A straight up follow? It took me like a year. Thank you, Emma. Guys, you're so annoying. Why are you even laughing, you absolute Islam? Sorry. Am I allowed to say that? You're not allowed to say that, but it's okay because you said it to me. I'll, I'll, I'll ignore it. Just... If you have to ask, you know you shouldn't. Like, it's absolutely ridiculous. And the way she... The way she asks, man, she knows that that is not an appropriate thing to say to anybody, ever. And sadly, we've all seen those really pathetic attempts uh, by racists to say things like, I'm not racist. I have a black friend. I'm not racist. I gave a Chinese girl money when they were sweeping up in a salon. 
No, actually, I haven't heard that um, argument. But we're about to hear. They weren't complaining when they were in my bed. All right. <laughs> just like, it just doesn't make sense. You can't call someone something that just isn't realistic. Oh, well, I'm going to stop going to the man that does my feet because he's Chinese. No. I'm that racist that I gave his daughter £10 a month ago because she was helping clean up when he was doing my feet. She was helping clean up and I paid him the 50 quid and then I gave his daughter £10. Well, that's being racist, is it? Because they're Chinese and they're black. I'm very rarely speechless, but I've never heard that argument. No, you are racist, Rachel, because of the horrible and vile things we say. The clip I'm about to show you, I would imagine that a lot of you from TikTok have already seen, uh, as well as these, because it is the most recent and most disturbing case of racism from Rachel. And we're going to watch it and I'm going to break it down with you. Now be warned guys, this clip contains a slur and I'm only showing it for educational purposes to show what sort of behaviour is not acceptable. Um, yeah, let's go. Now, apart from that word being absolutely vile and should not really be used on the internet or anywhere full stop um what i found most concerning was the artist you know doesn't say that word in this song at all doesn't say that word in this song at all so why is that word what comes to your mind let's go through it again <laughs> now it's absolutely vile obviously what she said and she has actually tried to what like justify it and this right here is how she decided to address the fact that people were pulling her up on using that horrible derogatory and racist terminology there's nothing i don't need to um this is a blind reaction for me. I've not seen this. I don't need to say anything to anyone. How about sorry? If you don't like me, don't be here. And that's great advice. If you see Rachel on social media, I suggest you block and report. It's cool. So what, India? What, what else would you like me to do? Go and... Like, cool. I don't get why people feel the need to to say that. So what? Because it's extremely important to call out vile behaviour. Look, there's a comment there that says, the proof is all over the FYP if you're using that word. Any bets that comment disappears in a second because a moderator is enabling Rachel's behaviour and removing those people. Right, so what? JC, right, so what? Called it. I fucking knew it. There you go, that's the answer. I'll just start keeping people. Right, what's your point? So what? What are you going to do? Come and beat me up? Where's my violin? For being something I'm not. You are a racist. Okay, I'm going to say it right here, right now. Very clearly, you are a racist. You just have to search your name and racism or racist. And there is plenty of examples of you saying things. I've only included a few. Do you know what I mean? I don't understand it. It's like, why are people telling me things? Like, that clearly... Well, it, like, so what? Do you know what I mean? So what? I've got to the point where I'm just going to say, so what? Great argument. My day's going good, thank you. 
What an absolute crock of shit. Unlike most people I've done a deep dive on, Rachel actually had a heads up. I announced this deep dive a week before it dropped. Now, what did Rachel have to say about me? Who's that behind you? Ooh. They came just to give This is actually the worst bloody part here in a rate. Some informal information. <laughs> Ooh, someone's talking about Rachel. Oh, I'm so scared. Why would you bring fear into it? People have nothing to worry about when they've done nothing wrong, and this video has definitely highlighted you've done fucking plenty wrong. Some old sweaty big man. How dare you. How dare you. Who I've never seen in my life. Yes, you have. <laughs> yes, you have, because you messaged me saying that you were going to bring your solicitors and everything the last time I talked about you. Ooh, I'm so scared. All right. Yeah, that's about as much of that as I can take watching her do that. Anyway, that was the end <laughs> of today's deep dive into Rachel Skinner, really highlighting that violent, toxic behaviour. This is definitely a person to watch and to avoid. Um, honestly, I appreciate you all being here and supporting me. Please make sure to hit that subscribe to follow me for free here. And obviously liking this video, sharing it, commenting, really helps raise awareness of this absolute wronging. Peace.